What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna test out a new product I just got in the mail. It just showed up and I just opened it up. Sitting here down on the floor. I build engines and a lot of times I build stock engines. And on these stock engines, a lot of times, all the internal parts are disgusting. Some people just throw them back in and hope for the best or use the brake clean, clean them up or soap and water, whatever the case may be. Coming from the background that I come from, working in a machine shop and having all the high tech equipment to clean things, I got kind of spoiled. And I got spoiled with um, some of the big wash tanks and stuff we had. They all did a really good job of cleaning um, old grimy parts with little effort. Got a bunch of engines lined up to get built. And uh, that one's gonna be a stock bottom end motor. So that'll have all used old OEM parts. This is a stroker motor. This is a stock bottom end motor. This is a stock bottom end motor. And uh, a lot of times you'll get crankshafts that, you know, look grimy. But back when I used to wash my other washer at my old job, they'd come out looking like this, nice and clean. Like this one, nice and clean. We bought an ultrasonic washer today and the one that I purchased, I can't fit a crankshaft in, but I can fit covers and such, um, pistons, you know, I got some pistons here, a little dirty. You know, we can throw something like that in there. That's the whole plan for this machine. This is the Vivor, Vever, however you pronounce that. This one is the 30 liter ultrasonic cleaner pretty big it was the biggest one they offered i believe and uh man i think i might be able to fit quite a few pistons in this thing let me see let's just stick a couple in here and see how many we can fit in this thing man oh boy i think i might be able to sit a whole set of pistons in here i think we can boys we can fit a whole set of eight pistons in here at once and clean them all i'm short one because that one was blown up whatever i did with it but i had one that was not good oh yeah this guy you know we blew it up we melted a piston um but yeah so we're gonna try this one out and uh i've got some really nasty pistons on some connecting rods that go in this motor that i'm currently building right here and that was why I purchased this. Figured I'd give this a shot. This is hopefully gonna save me a lot of time in scrubbing and hopefully a lot of money in brake cleaner because that brake cleaner gets expensive. As you can see, it comes with a metal stainless steel rack. That's nice. So you can lift those up out of there. Oh man, look at this thing. It's got a drain and stuff over here. Yeah, so you can slide that on there. Comes with this little hose. And you can thread that in there and drain her. That's going to be nice. There was a couple different options for this. Nice little digital screen and stuff. And uh, it's got timer and temp and all this stuff. Um, I'm going to get some actual ultrasonic soap for this. But I'd say for the time being... Um, I may, uh, may use like an old dishwasher um, thing with those little soap ball things. And maybe I'll throw it in there. Or maybe I'll just throw a little bit of purple power in there because that stuff works really well. Let's, uh, let's get this thing set on a bench somewhere, get it filled up. And uh, let's put this thing to the test and see how good this thing will actually work for me. So we got her filled up with water. Uh, probably could put a little bit more in there. But this is just kind of a test run. I'm going to grab something that's really nasty. Well, hell, let's just do this. This thing is super gross. This is going to make a mess of this machine. So we're going to throw that down in here just like that. And then I got one of these uh, dishwasher things. We'll just throw that in there like that. That's fine. And we're going to set the temp. So like 130 degrees. I think it said it like 54 Celsius was uh, like 130 degrees. We'll just set this for like 10 minutes. I know the ultrasonic at work would actually get hotter faster if you ran the ultrasonic. 
So. Well, it's been running for about 10 minutes. The temperature has come up to 31 degrees Celsius, which is like 87 degrees. And uh, let's pull the lid off and see how this thing looks. Okay, so the water is dirty. That's a plus. Let's just slide this up out of here. My pot hasn't dissolved yet, but it is getting a little cleaner. I will say that. So I think the big factor is gonna be temperature so since it's not up to temp yet i'm probably just going to set it for like another we'll say like 20 minutes and just let it run so it'll be like a total of 30 minutes but hopefully when it gets up to temp it won't take as long to clean something um but even then if i can set it to 30 minutes and walk away from it and come back in 30 minutes and something be clean that's cool um but yeah we're going to start it up, make it another 10, 20 minutes, and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like. We actually had it running for about 45 minutes. Uh, the temperature finally got up to where we wanted it. I actually dropped it a couple degrees because it was climbing a little bit further than I wanted it to go. I wanted it at 54 degrees. That was about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and it was climbing up to about 58, so I dropped it down to 52, somewhere I can try and keep it because obviously, like, the, the temp will uh, fluctuate a little bit. But... uh we're gonna open that up here in just a second. As you can see, I did move it down. Um, I was trying to clean up my workspace, trying to figure out where I wanted to put it, and I'm gonna slide it underneath this cabinet here. And actually, I had to pull the cabinet off the wall and cut a hole in it so I could access one of the outlets that's there. That way I don't have to use this extension cord anymore for this or my injector tester, so that'll be nice. Um, but as you can see here, I've got a rod and piston disassembled, got the rings off of it, the wrist pin out of it, these um i actually did clean the tops of them when it was in the engine um but then once i pulled it out obviously you can see how bad these look so we're gonna try this here in just a moment but let's see first what this windage tray looks like well the water's dirty <laughs> that's, that's that's for sure oh wow that actually looks way better than it did um definitely has some gunk on it still Ew, that's gross um but i mean it doesn't look terrible you can tell a lot of that's just rust from water being in this pan of this engine but as far as like the grease and stuff that's not grease that's actual rust Let's see if i can rub it yeah see i it's actually rust i'd have to sand that off to actually get that clean so that's that's pretty awesome honestly um, especially for just some dishwashing <laughs> detergent ball. Um, but as you can see, like that's pretty much, pretty much what it looked like before. So a little bit better. Um, definitely beats sitting over there at my wash cabinet, uh, scrubbing the crap out of it. But, uh, yeah, like I said, as you can tell, the water is pretty nasty. So just for grins, we're going to throw this rod and piston in here and uh kind of see what this turns out like and then we're gonna i probably should have pulled the basket out of it uh, we'll set this down in here and then i've got this uh old timing chain gear here and we're gonna throw that down in there and uh we'll run this for probably 20 minutes the temp's up there Pretty good. Dropped a degree. 20 minutes. See what happens. So we ran it for 10 minutes. Still got 10 minutes left. But uh, let's lift this up and see what they look like. Maybe. Try not drop my phone. Holy crap. Are you shitting me? This gear was awful i mean completely disgusting you still see a little bit of kind of like what it looked like on the bottom but they're like this is just how they look that thing was gross holy crap let me blow this off real quick get the water off of it before it like rust 
like you can even see the, sh the sheen on it. Still got a little bit of stuff on the bottom side of it, but uh, I'm gonna flip it over because there's still a little residual here and see what that does. And then uh, let's grab this rod out of here. <laughs> this is so cool. Blow this off real quick. It's not spick and span by any means, but I mean, you can see a little bit of residue there on the bottom of it. But like, and there's a little bit there. But for 10 minutes and this little parts washer, let's compare this to what it looked like. So there's that there. This is what it looked like when it went in there. So, so awesome. We're gonna throw that back down in there and uh, run that for another 10 minutes. And then let's grab this piston. I mean, there was so much junk on the side of this piston. We'll blow it off real quick. Off for 10 minutes. And it's, <laughs> I used the dishwashing liquid tablet in this thing. Um, I mean, you buy some actual ultrasonic degreaser, you know, some good, good soap. This, I mean, I think these will turn out pretty good. I think your best bet's actually lay it on its side. That way, I don't know, maybe not. Laying it on its top, yeah. I don't know. We'll drop this back down in here. We'll set it the other way and uh, see what it cleans like. Right up here. Ten more minutes. You know, and that's that's the thing. If I can put eight pistons in here or eight connecting rods and run them, and they come out and look like that, it's definitely just going to be that much easier. Um, to clean them like then it, I won't matter. It, I won't mind it so much going over there, putting it in to give it a little bit of scrub, you know, to get a lot of the stuff that won't come off of it, and then drop it back down in there and give it a final clean, um, and then uh, you know rinse them off. Like I could rinse them off, and, and it'll make it look a lot nicer too, rather than just pulling them right out of dirty water and blowing them off. So we'll run it for another ten minutes and uh, see how it looks. So I just pulled them out and uh, blew them off. But I mean, if you compare them to the old ones, I mean, look at that rod. That's that's good to put in an engine, if you ask me. That's clean and ready to go to put in an engine. Piston's gonna need a little bit more cleaning, um, you know, scrubbing, because that's some serious buildup on this engine. Um, but I can go through, hit that with a little wire brush, knock all that stuff loose. And then, uh, you know, if I wanted to, I could polish the top of this piston. But all in all, like, I'm super impressed. And also, that is with <laughs> a dishwasher detergent tablet. So, like I said, you put, like, actual ultrasonic soap in this thing, and it'll clean really good. I mean, this thing turned out amazing. So, you go from having something you're trying to put together that looks like this. I mean, look at that. And then it comes out like that. I mean, that is super, super awesome. Especially for something you can have on your bench top. And, uh, you know, they come out, they're clean, warm, not covered because it, you know, evaporates, you blow it off, it dries super quick, unlike mineral spirits. But I will say that was an amazing purchase. Um, I can't wait to use this thing. I'm gonna try and get some engine parts bolts um, all my bolts that i like to keep clean um i mean just everything front cover rear cover like i've got some rear covers that aren't super nice and uh you know it's like i can go through and clean all this stuff up you know and get it cleaned and prepped you know that way i just don't have dirty greasy parts laying around these are my spare covers it's like i can wash these things put them in the cabinet they're ready to go all i gotta do is swap seals on them put them on engines and we can go with it but i think i'm just gonna throw these in here right now i gotta go mow the yard guys but the vivor 30 liter ultrasonic cleaner was an awesome purchase this one in particular there's another option that gives you the option to go between 28 hertz and 40 hertz this one was not that one um so this one was a little bit cheaper than the other option <clears throat> but it's the same size as a 30 liter it's the biggest one i could get 
Um, the 40 hertz is what this does. It's actually meant for like jewelry and stuff. And then uh, from what I understand, like the 28 hertz would be better for stuff like this. So maybe the other one would work even better, um, but I don't know. But I've got my Vivor uh, transmission jack back there too. That thing's been awesome. I love that thing. But I'm gonna keep buying this stuff and trying it out. And uh, hopefully this makes my job or makes my life in the shop a little bit easier, cleaning things and making, you know, working on cars and all that stuff. Vivor seems to be uh, helping me make this a little bit easier on myself. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep following along. See you on the next one.